All right, I bought this at the bins, less than a dollar. Got it because I liked it. Woo, it turned out to be fantastic. Sold it for 500 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about big money plush. Uh, plush bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a big profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Right here, posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is my Facebook group. This is the post. Come share a bolo. If you have not shared a bolo before, you can share your best plush bolo. You can also share your best October bolo, or maybe I'll be posting this in November. I'm not sure yet. So just look for the share post of the month. Those are under the featured section, and come and share your bolo, and I will put it in a video just like this. Thank you to everybody that shared. There are some fantastic bolos. Here. All right, the first item here is this Gund Plush. Bought for 50 cents at a yard sale, sold it for 40 plus the buyer paid shipping. It is a Gund Little Me Safari Jungle Teddy Bear. New with tags, this is what it looks like. Um, so one question, if you find plush and it has the original tags, do you put new with tags? I have a tendency to not do that. I put pre-owned and I put um, in the title original tags, but I put pre-owned as the because it's plush. I don't know. I just feel weird about plush. I feel like it should be disclosed that even though it has the original tag, the item is pre-owned. But if it's a vintage item, I'm hoping most people would assume that. So let me know what you guys do in the comments with your plush that are with the original tags, but are vintage. Bought in an assorted plush bag at Savers. So I probably paid $1.50. Sold for $71. Originally listed at $78. Jellycat London First Steps Nugget Brown Monkey. Look how cute it is. So cute. Oh my goodness. Bought this in excellent condition at an antique store in Oregon for $35. Received many offers, but thankfully left it in, to run on auction. Got 15 bids and sold for $315 plus shipping. It is a vintage rushed in rubber face pink plush uh, puppy dog. And it says worm, 18 inch, very rare. Oh, he's so cute. Paid $2.99 at the Goodwill. It is a 1995 vintage Balton, Balton, I'm sorry, Balto, B-A-L-T-O. I think that's a character in a cartoon. Plush Husky Wolf Dog, Universal City Studios, plush, 18 inch, $119. Again, a Mercari sale. Get those plush on Mercari. Um, I do have a link down below. Definitely check it out. I do have a link for Mercari down below. If you join with that link, you will get $10 to shop. And then when you sell $100 worth of stuff, you'll get another $20 to shop. So definitely check that out and get your plush on Mercari. All right. The next item, bought him for $1.11 at the Goodwill. Sold him for 75 in a few months. It is a Disney Eeyore Brito plush toy by pop artist Romeo, or Romero Brito, patchwork and colorful. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that. $75. Found this at a local Goodwill. Paid $2.49. It's a Neopets Neopet Purple Bruce Penguin plushie rare. 2008 collectible. And this is what it looks like. Picked up at a free pile after a yard sale. Sold for $78. Yes. If you can find the Manhattan Toy Company dinosaurs, they are a bolo. This is the Brontosaurus, and it is red. Check it out. $78. Found at the bins. I had him for about four months. It is a Dormouse. Dormouse? Dormouse. D-O-R-M-O-U-S-E. Designs Artist Bear. Butterscotch. Sold it for $120. I mean, that looks like a pretty basic bear to me. And it sold for $120 bucks from the Goodwill bins. Another Goodwill bins find. McDonald's TY Beanie Babies Ronald McDonald. Sold it for $25. And the buyer paid free shipping. Um, McDonald's TY Beanie Baby. So do TY Thai Beanie Babies sell? Yes, you can sell them. Most of them are bread and butter. Some of them go for big money. If you have sold a Thai Beanie Baby 
let me know down in the comments what your highest sold was. And let's tell us where you got it and what you paid for it. Uh, there are certain tie that do well that are big money, but they're not usually the Beanie Babies. Got it at the bins a couple months ago. It is a Russ Berry Prudence Kitten Cat Orange Tabby and sold it for $75 and the buyer had free shipping on that one. Look how cute it is. Plush is so fun. It's easy to find, easy to list, easy to ship, all of it. It's all easy. Now, most of it is bread and butter, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Most of it's bread and butter. Most of it takes a long time to sell, but there are some items that go for big bucks. Bought at an auction for five for three boxes of plush. These sold in about three months for full asking. Speaking of Thai Beanie Babies, these are Asia Pacific 2004 exclusive bears. And it looks like there are six of them with the original tags, $60.99. So are we talking crazy thousands of dollars bolo? No. A lot of times you're going to see those inflated prices with Beanie Babies. It confuses new sellers all the time. They're just, most of them are not real. All right. This, I believe this, $60.99 for six bears. That's great. Goodwill, $2.99. It's the Build-A-Bear Orange Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Kitty. Yes, if you see the Pumpkin Kitty Build-A-Bear, definitely listed high. This sold for $93. Also, go check out my Build-A-Bear video that I just did. I will link it down below. There's one in this video that I think it sold for more. So check that out as well. Vintage Troll Bunny. Why do I feel like I had this as a kid? Paid 50 cents at a thrift store. Sold for 15 on Poshmark. You already posted my vintage elephant trunk for 99 on one video. So this one's next. By the way, I did have the elephant for 69, but took your advice because I couldn't see any and raised it to 99 and sold within a week after. Thank you. You give great advice. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That was very sweet. Um, she sold this little cutie for $15 on Poshmark. My man Alf. My man Alf. That's what she wrote. Found him at the Goodwill for $3.99. It was hard to list. I wanted to keep him. Do you guys remember Alf? I watched Alf. Uh, Alf Hawaiian plush, 40-inch stuffed animal, $179.99. You know, I kind of understand the wanting to keep it, but when you see that you can sell it for that much, see you later. <laughs> Alf is cool. Purchased this at a local Goodwill retail store for $4.06. With tax, buyer paid $136.74 all in. It originally came with a stamp. Mine did not have the stamp. I noted that in my description. Oh, Stampin' Up! Build-A-Bear Teddy Plush Apron 2009 Convention. So Stampin' Up! is, those are the stamps, you know, the wood mount, rubber mounted stamps. This is a Build-A-Bear from that. Huh, there's a new Build-A-Bear to look for, $125. Paid $3.99 for the Squish, sold within a week. It is a Squish Mallow, new with tag, 16-inch Halloween. I can't read the rest of it, but it sold for $55, and it looks like the buyer paid shipping. Bought for $1.99 at Goodwill in Houston, sold for $59 in four days. I had the collage pick on eBay and forgot to put it on Mercari. It sold so fast. Started reselling one one of 23 after watching your YouTube videos. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It says humble flips and finds on Mercari and eBay. So just started. That's awesome. It is a mist born reversible Sunni pup Kickstarter exclusive. Never seen that. And it sold for uh, 59 on Mercari. Hi, Courtney. I bought this dog at the Goodwill for 99 cents. I'm going to tell you that Eat, Pray, and Thrift on eBay, this is her eBay store. She's a Bolo Buddies member, has found more dog plush that have sold for big money. It's crazy. I feel like every time she posts, it's some realistic looking dog that's plush and it's big that she sold for crazy money. Goodwill bins, oh no, wait, at the Goodwill, not even the bins for 99 cents. It was highly sought after and sold for a best offer of 330 on eBay. This is the third retired Douglas Cuddle toy plush I have sold for big money. I didn't even read that part before I was telling you. Like, she's sold so many. Three. Three of these. Look how cute it is. It's a German pointer. 
paid $2, but they didn't say where they got it. It's a vintage 2002 Invader Zim Gur Dog Cuddle Pillow Toy. Hot Topic, $152.50 for this one. I got it for free at the local Facebook marketplace. Took a few months to sell for the full asking price of $52 on Mercari. Plush Monkey 36 inch stripes and polka dots with long legs. It doesn't even, it doesn't even have a brand. $52, that is awesome. And it sold on Mercari. Go join Mercari. <laughs> All right, I got this at the Goodwill bin, so I probably paid 50 cents. I took a best offer of $62.99. There were no comps for this item, so I priced high, knowing I'd probably take a best offer. It is terry cloth. Soft Dreams terry cloth bear pastel plush rattle bunny slipper stuffed toy with flaws. Sold it for um, $62.99, best offer. And this one comes from Bola Buddies member, Vintage Spice. And this is her YouTube channel. YouTube channel? YouTube channel. Go and give her a follow. I will link her down below. She is, um, she has really, really great finds. I, I always love seeing her bolos. Paid pennies at an estate sale. I bought out all the plush there that the people running the sale deemed low value. This one sold for full asking price of $68.99 plus shipping on Etsy. And this also comes from Vintage Spice. And again, why I say cross post your items. I'm on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. I also sell on Whatnot. If you're not on Whatnot, um, there's a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop. Come and see me. Come to my Whatnot auctions. They are super fun. Even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out. Um, check out that link down below. Also, if you're thinking about cross posting, List Perfectly is my choice of cross posting services to use. I've been using it since 2019. Absolutely love it. There is a video down below that shows you how it works. Check that out. If it's something you're interested in, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. So lots of ways to use it. I go over a lot of that down in the description. Okay, let's see. I saw this plush sealed in a bag and almost heard your voice telling me to look it up. I paid 70 cents at the bins. I listed it for $39.99 and took an offer in a few hours for $29.99. I was singing Limu Emu song while listing it and then while shipping it, buyer paid shipping. It is a Liberty Mutual Limu Emu Doug plush stuffed animal, 15 inches advertisement shirt. It's got the little shirt and this is what it looks like. I love it. That's so funny. I When I'm on uh, whatnot, there are certain things that I will say that will trigger me to think of songs and I'll be like, I'll start to like, I want to sing it. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, no, I'm not going to sing. And it's like a big joke on my whatnot now because people will like tease me, but they had me rapping Vanilla Ice the other night. So I did rap, but I don't sing. Okay. You know, Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> They got a little bit of that on whatnot. So you guys, again, if you're not coming to my whatnot shows, you're missing out. You're missing out. They are so fun. Um, it's such a good time. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out. All right, here we go. Hi there from new uh, or from NC. I bought this little fella from the Goodwill for $2.49 and posted initially for $275 because that was what I was seeing under the solds on eBay. As the weeks went on, I lowered the price, eventually landing on 190 and sent an offer of 180 out to an interested buyer who kindly accepted. What? Sold. I was so delighted to learn about the plush item that Thai Beanie Babies put out that are exclusive and so glad to get this little one to a happy collector. So there are some Beanie Babies that do well. This one is a Beanie Buddy, guys. It's 14 inches, so it's not a Beanie Baby. It's a Beanie Buddy, and it is Franken Teddy Halloween Bear. So it's a store exclusive. It's Halloween. Those are probably some of the things that made this item go for more. Check it out. Remember it. I don't think you're going to forget that. It's so, so bright and colorful. I love it. All right. I bought this at the bins. Less than a dollar. Got it because I liked it. Woo, it turned out to be fantastic. Sold it for 500 plus shipping. It's a vintage, hard to find, Swibco 1998 St. Jude's Cosmo Teddy Bear Stuffed Animal Plush. Yes, I have talked about this one in videos before. She sold it for 500. This is definitely a bolo. 
This one comes from Childhood Fine. She's a Bolo Buddies member. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She has awesome bolos and she has tons of what sold videos. You will learn so much. I got this adorable piggy at a yard sale for five and sold it within a week for $95. The artist plush all go for great money if you can find them. Artist Karen Mir, mad hat, mad hatted, hatted, hated, hatted, bear, collector mohair pig, piggy, swine, <laughs> 2004, 10 inches. And this one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk, Rhonda. She is a moderator of this Facebook group. Please go show her some love with a sub on her YouTube channel. She is also coming to Whatnot. So please follow her over there as well. Got Junk in Our Trunk. She said, I purchased this at a yard sale in a bag lot for, tw uh, I'm sorry, for $2. Sold on best offer for $36.79. Sold amounts vary, so look them up. It is a three-headed dinosaur dragon and this is what it looks like so again Rhonda is a great asset to this group super helpful and um check out her youtube channel because she sells some really cool stuff and she has a unique way of doing her what sold videos and they're usually only about three or four minutes so it's a lot of information packed into a very short video if you are a busy person so uh check her out sub her up follow her on whatnot follow me on whatnot follow all of us on whatnot. All right, you guys, enough about whatnot. I love the platform. I'm super excited about it and hope to see you guys at a future show. And if you ever come over to a whatnot show, make sure you say you're from the YouTube channel and say hello, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.